But you guys got another video here for you on how to make any program portable on Windows 11. This means that you can put these programs onto a USB flash drive and you don't need to install them and you can take them anywhere you like. We're going to be using this uh, piece of software here. It's totally free. It's called the Enigma uh, Protector. I'll leave a link in the video description. You can hit the uh, download button to download the full version. This will give you three options here. The one we're interested in is the Enigma Virtual Box. It's complete freeware here, so we can download uh, the actual software for free and run it on our system. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this downloaded and we can get it installed on the system. And I'll show you exactly how you need to uh, use this piece of software. So hit the download button and uh, we're going to go ahead and click open file. You should see a box like this. And uh, all you need to do here is click yes. And you should now see the setup Enigma virtual box. So what we're going to do is accept their terms and conditions, click next and we'll go through the installation process. Very straightforward and easy to do. So just create a desktop uh, icon if you want to, click install, and that is now done. So let's go ahead and launch Enigma VirtualBox, and it should look something like this. Now, first off, to make any program portable, you're gonna need to install it first onto a machine. So I'm gonna be using a virtual machine here to install the actual software first and then we can then make it portable and then we can use it anywhere we want so i'll show you how to uh, create this so this is the layout of the actual software pretty straightforward and easy to do i'll show you step by step on how to get this set up here so first off let's go over and get a program and make it portable so we're going to go ahead and download audacity here so download the audacity version here and get it installed on the system let me go ahead and click yes here and we're going to go ahead and click OK. Now you may be wondering why you might need uh, to use portable applications. These would be useful for WinPEs, so you can drop them on a WinPE and use it in that environment as well. Or maybe you want to drop them on a USB flash drive and have them as part of your toolkit. So let's go ahead and uh, open up the program again. And we need to enter in the input file name. So let's go ahead and click browse. And we need to browse to the location of the program that we want to make portable. So let's go this PC, go to C drive, program files, because that's where Audacity is. And it's this folder here called Audacity. And click on the audacity.exe file. Click open. And this now has been added in. So the path's been added in. Now we need an output file name where do we want to put our file well we don't obviously don't want to be putting it back into the audacity folder so we're going to go ahead and select our desktop and we'll just dump it onto the desktop here you can rename the file to whatever you like i'm going to leave it as is audacity underscore box.exe that's fine for me now we've got those two bits done what we need to do is go down to the bottom left hand corner here and we need to click on that add button so once we click on add you should see add folder recursive so what we want to do here is click on that. And now what we want to do is go to the Audacity folder. This could be any folder that you're doing for the program that you're trying to make portable. So go to this PC, the, the actual program folder, and we're going to click on the actual Audacity folder here and just click OK. It will give you add folder here and leave it as is. And we can click OK here. And once that's done, we can now click on the process and this will process our request and make that program portable. So let's go ahead and click on process and you'll see a little box popping up here and it's going to go ahead and gather all the files that it needs. And, and once that's done, it should say run or close. So it's just compiling all of that into a container and there we go. So here is our file and we can click on the file now and it should open just like so. Now, if you want that box to disappear when you open it, so you can open it once more and just check mark here saying don't show again. And once we do that once more, it will open straight to the program, just like so. Now, make sure you've got this fully updated and configured the way you want before you actually make it portable. The size of it is only 91.5 uh, megabytes and it's all contained in that one file. Quite useful. Let's go ahead and do one more for you, just so you've got an idea of how it all happens. So I'm going to go ahead and click Browse again, and we're going to go to this PC, C Drive, Program Files, and what we're going to do is we're going to choose Crystal Disk Info here and choose the executable file for Crystal Disk Info. 
this one right here. Click open. That's now done. Now we need to choose an output and that's going to be the same thing onto the desktop here. So let's go ahead and click save. And I'm just going to quickly save this to my desktop. So go to desktop here, desktop, open and save. That's it. Once we've got that done, all we need to do is again add the files. So we're going to add folder and we're going to go to this area here and choose where that location was, C drive, program files, and then choose the folder that we wanted here, which is crystal disk info. Click OK, click OK again and click process. And this will now make that program into a portable application. And this is going to be great for all your toolkits. So I'm pretty sure you've got a few tools that you would like to add to your um, actual USB flash drive. And this is how you can create portable applications. Very simple and easy to do. So I'm not going to save that. And there is the actual file there. As you can see, it's just in its own little container. We can click on this, click yes. And that program should now open. There we go. Very simple and easy to do. And that is it. That is basically how you can create any portable application using that free software there. I'll leave a link in the video description. And uh, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. Whether you're tier one, tier two or tier three, I really do appreciate the support. And uh, I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.